What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today, well, we knew it was gonna happen to somebody, some way, somehow, and by the thumbnail, you know it's happened. No, 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 there isn't an actually new meta with Das Moog, but there is someone who got really lucky slash unlucky, so hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let's jump right into it. <laughs> So if you have not seen it, if you come on over to the auction house, wow, yeah, that one sold for a lot. Go to the auction market, filter just for those S tier heroes. I uh, love how this filter doesn't work sometimes. You gotta wait three more seconds. And here we go. Yes, there's a couple really good heroes in here. And then there is this hero. <laughs> Oh, I wish we could see a name of the seller, honestly. I really wish that was something that would happen. I don't know if there's any other SSS or anything. Oh my God, these filters, come on. I don't understand. There's none on display, but there is one on bidding right now. And uh, yeah, I would say this is very interesting. Um, I don't even know if he's used as who who would Das Moog even be used as a tenant for is the big question. Like that is the biggest luck and the biggest non luck I've ever seen. What am I doing? Come on. <laughs> like I don't think it's for any of the the fortress heroes, right? There's none there. I don't think there was one for Sword Flash either, right? No. Um <laughs> It's got to be only for older heroes. Who could you make use? You can make use if you had an Inosuke that you wanted to be your main householder. That's um kind of it. <laughs> There's not really anybody else that I even see him for. Regular Shia? I mean, that's an option. So, I know somebody probably just wanted to do summons. They were either either they're a brand new player and they just hit literally the lottery getting an S tier hero and now they think it's easy or something um yeah i don't think anybody's gonna buy this for this price i'm sure somebody will buy it if you put it low enough to be at meme levels to so just so they have like an ss hero like that would be cool if you do like a non-elite challenge and you get like an ss version of dasmo or not dasmo what am i saying mirage did i say dasmo this whole time i just realized what i did hold on wait a minute wait a minute mirage right <laughs> mirage I think I said Dasmog in the beginning. Hey, this is close enough. They're both irrelevant heroes that have zero use. You know what I'm saying. Mirage. So, um, the one thing I will also say, like, just going off that tangent, because whoever had it, congratulations. You hit something nobody's ever going to hit. Sucks to be you because you hit it on a very bad copy. Now, the A-tier copies are the ones that most people are hunting for uh they're kind of holding price it seems like they don't seem to be dipping much at all they're kind of staying at that 1500 or higher mark that sucks that you hit two s and you only managed to get an a plus though that that really does suck uh, but that's a huge difference in attack from a b to an s tier you can see so i could understand the value hike uh the question is is it actually worth doing this mm, it depends on who you are and what you're wailing on now let's check some of the other big heroes out there vesa copies still more expensive it seems like than the sword flashes out there uh yeah i mean some of them are coming down in price which isn't bad but vesa i feel like people aren't using her as often now uh the other thing we want to take a look at is jara copies Jara copy is surprisingly not that expensive. I wonder if there's any cheaper ones out there. Oh, okay, they're 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 a little more expensive than I would say Sword Flash overall. You might be able to snag one for pretty cheap. Cheap. <laughs> because yeah, they're still ridiculously expensive. The other one I want to take a look at is Aspen. There's probably not a lot of Aspen copies floating out there. Uh, there's a couple and again a tier just because of giant killer it just hikes the price of these heroes up so much the one i would be surprised at is if mockman is cheap i feel well, there's not even any mockman on the market right now 
There's a couple coming up. Yeah, I can understand Machman being one of the most expensive because surprisingly, most people aren't using Sword Flash in the Void campaign. They're using Star Swordsman Machman because he is absolutely crazy AoE damage and it just pops off and it's really strong. Okay, here, here's the last thing I want to check. Who has the cheapest of the cheaps? Um, Sword Flash still seems to be the cheapest, followed by Jara. Eos is up there. It's interesting to see that, I mean, I think it's because there's so many Sword Flash or Shia copies out in the market that it really does devalue them because there's many, even though they're like one of the most sought after ones, they're still the most out there. How did that filter not get set? Oh, wait, it did. Ah, okay. Holmes Young, actually the cheapest. Makes sense. Um, Eos down lower. Makes sense. There's a lot of Holmes Young up here, surprisingly. There's Arania. Very interesting. Even Asmodel has a very high number to it. And I think it's just because most people aren't really caring too much about As or Asmodel, sorry. Um, so yeah. Holmes Young, I feel like this is this makes sense because Holmes Young is probably the least used transcendence hero. It's more just for whales, for PvP, certain game modes, things like that. Eos again, I mean, you really don't even care if she dies in a lot of situations because or engulfing sun and everything is what you want her for sword flash is for vortex and everything but hey nowadays you don't even need that to get things done i wish there was a way for people to actually pull funds and let me buy a shia copy we'll probably do it eventually we, we keep putting it off i'm kind of interested to see what type of progression we can make without a tier copies uh, now that we have Lord of Fear Aspen stronger, I'm thinking this style team might actually work. I don't think I have the artifacts set up properly right now. Do I? I think we conceded speed here. But we, like, we do have Lord of Fear Aspen. Yeah, the artifacts are completely wrong here. They're just all completely bad. Um, but, I mean, it does seem like there's a chance. Wow, that's... A pedal on everybody. That means we have an extremely high dodge chance. Holy cow. Uh, but the poison stacks are going to get crazy. The stuns are going to get crazy. Yeah, if you don't have the speed, you just lose. It doesn't matter who you have on your team. But I do want to continue making our Lord of Fear Aspen stronger on top of everything else we have going on. So, very interesting. Um, again, really sucks for anybody who does summon someone that's really, really strong. But it's a really bad hero copy. Yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, we probably will consider getting a Sword Flash copy soon because let's be honest, the B tier, B tier is really not doing what we need her to do. We need Giant Killer for all these game modes. Heck, even the new Force War, like we're staying like at a competitive rank, but without that really strong power and damage that we have, we're just not able to get it like as far as we want. We're able to get in like the 200 range on most of these. The big whales are getting in the 300 plus range. So, is what it is. Hopefully, you guys enjoy this one. I'll see you guys next time.